Hey everybody, I am Meg from Love and Stamps and this is Maker Mornings with Meg, Thursday edition, which is our happy pre-Friday kind of announcement time. So, hey you all. Um, I have the first project of our April uh, Maker Mornings with Meg, Love and Stamps tutorials. And I'm very excited to share with you that the stamp set that I picked, um, I don't know if you can guess, you can try and guess, um, but the stamp set I picked is actually going to continue into the next catalog. So the stamps, at least, you should be able to get um, throughout the month of April. But there are some other things that will probably not last that long. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And I'm going to give you some hints for finding the things that you want from the retiring list um, and some of the best offers, the best deals. So stamp set, Season of Chic which is a really outstanding one. It has great greetings. I honestly looked over it a couple times in the catalog um, because I didn't love one of the paper colors, but I am a total convert now. I absolutely adore it. Um, and the dyes that go with this are fantastic. Oh, there's dimensional. Yeah, raise your hand if you get little dimensional backings everywhere in your life. Um, but the pieces that go together with this are super fabulous. And I'll show you the papers when we switch our camera. So you are going to um, love today's project. It is the perfect DIY gift for everyone, which sounds like a big claim, but we'll see what you think at the end if we um, made good on that. And uh, good morning. Happy pre-Friday, Kelly. Hey, Elaine. Hey, Trish. Um, say hi if you're here. And uh, we're going to kind of get our camera switched over and I'm going to get started. But remind me if I, if I forget and get distracted by our stamping, um, remind me to come back and make sure that we talk about the retired list things and how to find the great specials. So um, we're going to switch here and we have our pieces. So this project is actually one of the ones that you will get um, a kit for, which is my thank you gift if your order during the month um, or your accumulated orders during the month of April are $50 or more, you get two project kits in the mail for me and this is gonna be one of them. So it's kind of a cool bonus because it is a notebook. Um, so you're gonna get your notebook in the mail, you're gonna get the pieces die cut like this, um, not stamped. Uh, you will have to stamp your own, so make sure you get your stamps um, make sure you get your stamps ordered. And uh, if you want more of the supplies to make this project and some others, the other three for this month, you're gonna wanna make sure that you check the supply list, which is in the video description, um, and get those things ordered right away because I'm gonna show you, um, I'll show you which things are on super special from that list. So, all right, first thing to get started with is our card sock. So this is cut to eight um, inches by 10 and three quarter, let's see, five, 10 and a quarter. Um, let me just double check that. Yeah, 10 and a quarter. And then I love to do my scoring with this, especially if I'm doing a bunch um, with my Simply Scored board because I can use those little um, notchy things here and slide them in where I need. And then it's just really easy to um, score. Do you like the sound effects? The sound effects are optional. You can make them if you want. Um, but it's really easy to score multiples of this and uh, be ready. Um, now, a cutting hint for you. If um, your paper trimmer doesn't go out to 10 and a quarter, which of course um, the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer does, so you just open up that arm. Um, but sometimes I like to do my scoring first, so I'd keep my sheet 11 inches wide, and then I'd score at five and five and a quarter, and then I'd slide this in here, and I would put my cutting, or put my, um, score line right at the five inch mark and then give myself just maybe a smidge extra um, and I'm gonna show you why. So this is our side with a smidge extra. And the reason that I do that is because I wanna make sure that the front of my notebook is covered, especially when you have a contrast, a high contrast like this um, with the evening evergreen cardstock. You don't want your, I'll pull it back, you don't want your notebook to pop out this way. So um, sometimes I'll give myself just a little extra smidge there so that it covers for sure, okay? All right, and again, if you're looking for the full um, details on this whole project with PDF tutorial, um, it'll be available later in April in my Etsy shop um, at Lovin Stamps Card Mart, so. All right, so let's go ahead and cover our notebook before we get to the front here, um, because the um, thing you're gonna want next, these are just a pack of envelope, or pack of envelopes, a pack of notebooks that come like in a pack like this um, from an office supply or a big box store. 
They're five inches wide, so if your notebook is different size, you're going to want to score and cut this differently. And I'm going to um, use strong adhesive on this. So I'm going to use my Seal Plus here. You want to use an adhesive that is not going to come apart um, because this is a gift item, remember, and um, this is something that people might put in a purse or in a briefcase or carry in a backpack. Um, and so it, you want it to stay super sturdy. So Seal Plus, I just line up this five inch strip of designer paper here and then I fold it around really tightly around that corner to make a really nice sharp edge there at the top of our notebook. And then I adhere this in the back, okay, uh, like so, all right? Now, to put this inside our notebook, um, see, I said those things get everywhere, right? And they don't like to always come off. Static is the thing, name of the day. Uh, so uh, to put this in here, I would use Seal Plus again or multi-purpose liquid glue. Both are an excellent choice. Um, sometimes, depending on the content, fiber content of the back of your notebook, you might find it easier to just go ahead and put your Seal Plus here on the um, cardstock because sometimes that it's like a compressed fiberboard notebook and it, it just wants to come apart um, with the adhesive. So I'm gonna actually do double duty here. I'm gonna do Seal Plus around the edges to make sure I get those. And then I'm going to put a little bit of uh, multi-purpose liquid glue in the center. All right, now here is a key tip for this kind of notebook. Um, when I put this together, I could set it down like this, but then I could get it all kinds of crooked. So what I do is I put it right into the spine there, okay, because I know that that's right, but I don't want it to end up too low. I don't want to have an overhang there. So I'm going to put it right into the spine and then just set this, you can hear it, on my table and fold this around. Okay, so now I know that that is square, that it is stuck down, and that it is the perfect height for the bottom, okay? All right, so we're gonna give that a minute here to um, hang on. I guess that's not very heavy. Um, there, should be okay. All right, so now we have the cover of our notebook. So good morning, hey, Becky and Roxanne and Deborah and Margie. Um, if you've made one of these notebooks before, let me know. I, it's a project that I've shown before. I truly love them. And um, I'm gonna show you two other versions this morning that are both made with retiring stamp sets. And then I'm gonna show you how to find the retiring stuff on the um, online store. So, all right, let's look at our pieces here. We have here um, a piece of designer series paper. I promised to show these to you. And, oh, I just realized I didn't, cut the um, layer that I need. So take a look at all the gorgeousness that is this designer series paper here while I grab um, that piece of cardstock. Oh, I got one handy. All right, so look at these fabulous colors and textures. Um, it is called texture chic for a reason, for sure. Um, it is absolutely beautiful with um, the way the patterns come together and and so forth. So um, one side is gold foiled like this. The other side, and some of these I just have little pieces of, um, the other sides are themed for um, the different stamps included in a set. Because this set is intended to be a seasonal set. So we have the shells and the snowflakes. Um, we have this fence paper. We have the leaves. Can you see the leaves in there? And we have these flowers and the flowers that I've uh, used for my um, project here, these guys here. And so those match the stamp set and the one, two, three, four um, <clears throat> seasons that are represented. And then of course this great um, chic kind of uh, paint swirl and then some really great greetings to go with it. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, oh, Becky says she's made them before. Oh yeah, three by four, small composition books. The techniques really apply to um, whatever you uh, size notebook you have. So definitely um, the tips about scoring, the tips about adhering, keep those things handy because um, you'll want those for your own uh, version of this notebook. So, all right. So we're going to um, go ahead and layer these papers. One of the things I love about Stampin' Up! Papers is that they all go together. Um, we're gonna put them in the middle like this, but I wanna use um, this little dot stamp here because this paper has very, a very much a distressed look. So we're gonna carry that on and I've got my pool party ink pad 
And I'm going to put some um, sort of distressed marks here. I'm turning my stamp as I go so that I don't end up like just repeating the same um, element. And then I'm gonna put some up here at the top. And you can see I'm not worrying too much about my um, stamping on my background paper table here. It'll be okay. There we go. All right, so now we have some sort of decoration there. And let's go ahead and put our pieces down here. Because like I said earlier, um, we want everything to be super strong. I know it's it's painful to me. I'm covering up the um, gold foil side, but I really love the paper, um, the flower side. So we're going to use it there. And then I have this little strip here. So multi-purpose liquid glue is a great friend for this. Your pieces are not going to come off in um, someone's purse or bag. And the... Um, Clear cello bags, these are the six by eight cello bags. They are available in the online store. They're in the Stampin' Up! catalog. Um, they are an excellent uh, packaging for these notebooks, especially if someone's gonna keep it in a purse because that um, keeping it inside that cello bag will protect it from um, getting all the pieces, the fun embellishments scraped off as people take it in and out of their bag. And you're gonna see those fun embellishments, uh, which I picked partially because they're on super sale right now. <laughs> So, okay, so we have our pieces there where we have our colors echoed again. Um, again, the designer series paper for this is not going to be available um, too much longer. It's available right now while supplies last, but um, don't wait if you want to get it. So the dies for this, I'm gonna use here our flower. We have our flower detail and our flower outline, and then there's also this other fun um, flower. There's another one there that we'll, we'll maybe not use today, but um, there are leaves, there are snowflakes, there are shells. This is a really robust uh, set of dies, and I highly recommend this, um, this die set too because of this fun texture panel, which we're not going to use today, but watch for it to show up um, in some uh, other Love and Stamps Make Our Mornings with Meg videos when, when we're doing our sweet feature here. Uh, okay, so we have our dies here, and I'm going to bring in my stamps, and I'm going to um, go ahead and stamp our flower. Now, a word about mounting this stamp to make your life easier. Um, this is a two-step stamp set, so you're going to stamp. Usually, I like my background first on stamps like this, and then I stamp my overlay over it. And so with this flower, the artists have very helpfully made two sides of it kind of flat. So here I'll... I'll underline here. So here's one side that's kind of flat, if you can see that, and here's another side that's kind of flat here. So when I mounted my stamps, I put the flats at the bottom um, on both of them, so it would be really easy to line them up. I just don't have to work hard to get the pieces where I want them. So I'm gonna stamp um, with my Petal Pink ink pad, which is a continuing color, but I want to stamp, oops, I'm gonna stamp off. So this is gonna be my scrap stamp spot and this is gonna be my real one. Um, you can see how much lighter that color is on the second stamping. And then I'm gonna use my next um, one here, my outline at full strength, and kind of guess where it's gonna go. It doesn't really matter because by the time we die cut it, no one's gonna notice. And so then this die here, I'm just gonna look for those that sort of flat-ish side, and that makes it really easy to line up, okay? I'm gonna use my washi tape here to attach that. And then this is going to get die cut, which of course through the magic of television I have right here, okay? So the other thing that I want to go with this, I want to build this focal point here on our notebook. And the great thing about this um, notebook is that you can use anything for focal points. So here is another one. Um, this designer series paper is retired, but the stamps, um, the shell stamps and this gorgeous shell embossing folder are both um, available is retiring items. So you can see we've, I've created a focal point on this notebook too, and then um, tied this at the side to come across like that to be our notebook. Um, so I'm gonna show you that. But when you're building your focal point, you want to have just a little bit more. And so I'm gonna bring in these shape dies here, which work great also on their own. So you can use them to layer with the shape itself, or you can use them on their own. And through the magic of television, I have those die cut right here. 
And we're gonna add these to our little um, floral here to sort of start building a collage of flowers, okay? You can see how that's coming together. So you can do the same notebook with fall or seashells or whatever makes people happy. Uh, whoever you're giving the notebook to, you're gonna customize it for them. And then we need a greeting. And since this is a gift notebook, I really love this one that says, you are amazing beyond measure. And so I'm gonna bring in that swirl and I'm gonna ink it in petal pink to re echo this color. Um, the more times you use a color on a project, the more connected it will all look. So there's our swirl and it has some really great like variety to the texture in there. So I love the way that really came together. And then I'm gonna bring in Evening Evergreen, which is one of the retiring colors. This ink pad and cardstock are still available right now, um, but do not wait. I do not know how long they will be available. So I'm gonna ink up this stamp here, the You Are Amazing, and go ahead and stamp this here on our brush stroke. So that makes a really pretty greeting. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a quick fussy cut on this. Um, when I fussy cut, I love to leave a white border because it really, um, it's like a self uh, layering feature. Um, so it just really helps that image to stand out. So remember to, have you guys been practicing your fussy cutting? <laughs> um, keep your scissors motionless. All you do is squeeze them and then use your free hand, this one out here, to be um, turning the paper so that you get nice smooth cuts. And it's almost like we cut it out with a die, right? So there is our cut out. You are amazing beyond measure. And then we can bring this back here to our um, pieces here that we're assembling, okay? So we're putting this all together. And then I wanted to give this just a little bit more, um, I feel like it, it's, it could use just a little bit more centering here, a little bit more attraction to the focal point. So one thing you could do for sure would be to um, use this die right behind there. Um, on gold, like the Distress Gold Guard Sock, um, the Retiring Rose Gold Specialty Paper um, would be really pretty. Uh, but I have these little strips of the Distressed um, Specialty Paper, and this stuff is like solid gold. It's been in and out of stock. It's in stock right now, but it is so fabulous, and it's continuing to the new catalog, so never fear. You'll be able to get it again. Um, but we're going to go ahead and add this behind here because I love... Um, they, I'm going to make them just a little bit crooked, I think. Um, I love adding that element there as a way to sort of, um, I don't want to cover up our paper, but I also want um, to add a little bit more like attraction to that little area there to really strengthen that focal point. So now that we've got that kind of figured out, let's go ahead and adhere these. And I really like to take them off one at a time to add the glue to them. If you take them all off, then sometimes I find at least that I get them back on and like, oh wait, that's not really where I intended to put that. Um, so I'm, I'm a big fan of removing items one at a time to glue them back on. Let's see, there we go, close enough. And then this one here, I just realized my watch band matches our project today. <clears throat> all right. Oh, and Siri wants to help me. She thinks I'm talking about my watch. All right, so now let's go ahead and pop some Stampin' Dimensionals on these. So I'm gonna pull these up. Um, for this big element here, uh, this long element, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take an edge piece. Um, when you have something like this, like I said, it's gonna come in and out of a bag or in and out of a purse or sit on a desk or whatever. I wanna make sure that I give it lots of adhesive points. Um, so that it really uh, has the best chance of staying together. And then I'm gonna use my glue, my multi-purpose liquid glue on our flower and make this one flat. Um, I think these will hold up best if they're actually glued. Remember, if you can see the glue, it is enough. Um, you don't want your glue to be splurging out everywhere. I'm gonna pop that just underneath and then stick a black on to make sure it's stuck down nicely. We'll put, look on this tiny little flower, I'm putting two Stampin' Dimensionals. You guys know that that is not like me. Um, oh, Roxanne says she's doing better, but she still prefers dyes with her fussy cutting. I get you, I get you. Um, morning, Cheryl. All right, 
Uh, oh, Kelly said she had used a long skinny pad to make um, one of these notebooks, but sort of a, um, a kitchen uh, grocery shopping list with a long skinny pad. That's a great idea too. Uh, all right. And I'm going to tuck this one just right underneath there and we'll grab one more block. All right. So we need a couple things for this. We need a ribbon to tie it closed, um, which of course is optional. You could choose not to do that. And you could also, um, we want to add some embellishments to this. So I was looking through my retiring embellishments and I came across these adhesive backed flower trinkets, which are so cute. And then, um, I realized I hadn't really used them hardly. They actually, surprise, surprise, are three different colors. So here's the surprise. Remember, open your packages from the side so you can easily get them in and out. They're silver. These are a little bit closer to rose gold, and then these are the solid gold ones. So I think rose gold or solid gold would work great for this. You could even mix and match your metallics and put silver on there. Um, they're a little heavy in the packaging, so they, they seem to slide just a teeny bit when they're in shipping, but... So far, I've had good luck with them sticking. So um, we're going to go ahead and put a couple of these on here as extra embellishment. And I think I'm going to go a little crazy. I'm going to pop one out here, which is a little bit on the risky side, right? Because we're um, it's, it's at risk of getting popped off in the use of the notebook. But I think it's worth it because it's so cute. Um, there are those little notebook uh, flowers or those little trinket flowers. And these are on um, like super clearance. So um, super, they're not on the clearance rack, they're on the retired list. So let me switch over for one second because I know people have had trouble um, with finding things in the online store. And so I wanted to show you um, some tricks for doing that. So I'm gonna share my screen here and I need to get to that tab in my stuff. Okay. Search results. Here we go. All right. So, um, on the store, so this is the online store, of course, right here, it says shopping with Meg. Yay. Thank you for shopping with me. Um, I'm going to click here on the menu at the left side. This will look a little different if you are using, um, a little different if you're using your phone or a tablet. Um, this is the computer version. And then I'm going to click view all right here because Stampin' Up, um, in their fabulousness has added a feature, uh, which lets you filter. So this is going to bring up, usually it brings up the new stuff. Um, but it's got this filter by and you can click retiring right here. And then everything it shows will be on the retiring list. So helpful. Um, each of these is going to show that retiring soon. It'll show the discounted price. Um, like the ginkgo branch dies, moly, holy moly. If you're a ginkgo fan, um, even without the stamps, these were $36 and now they're $14.40. So uh, you're going to want to flip through here. Um, now a note about the French. Um, I, I just sent an email to Stampin' Up! this morning and asked for this, but if you pick English here to filter by English, it will take out everything that doesn't isn't marked English language. So you would not see the Enjoy the Journey designer paper. You would not see the Ginkgo branch dies. So um, if you're looking for things in English, I would encourage you to just go ahead and skip over the French ones, but don't click English because you'll miss out on a lot of the um, great retiring things, okay? Another thing to note is the, um, the bundle prices. Um, if you're looking at a bundle and you're like, oh, I really like that, um, you're going to want to look for the... Um, version of it that is not bundled. So for example, this Fragrant Flowers set is $20 here. The bundle is $48, um, but the dyes, wherever they are um, in here, they are uh, here, only $18. So you're actually better off to get the dyes and the stamps separate, not the bundle price. So if you find a bundle you love, um, make sure you look up the pieces of it to see what their component prices are. All right, and you can see all these great things in here. The other thing you can do is you can look up, um, you can change this filter on the left side here. Instead of retiring, we'll uncheck that. You can actually pick the one that says retiring low inventory um, to look at things like, oh my gosh, I really need to get um, that soon because I'm going to possibly miss out on it. Okay, now the other thing that you can do is in the video description here, um, I have a link to the supplies for this project that we're doing today. And when you click that link, it's going to pop everything up into your online store. 
um, you're going to want to pick either the bundle or the stamps and the dies <laughs> um, or the dies or whatever. Uh, you're not going to want all of those things there. But it will tell you which things from today's project are retiring soon. So the texture sheet retiring soon. It'll tell you that the distressed gold paper is on low inventory. And it'll tell you that the trinket flowers, instead of being $9, are $5.40. Same with the window pane check ribbon. Oh, we haven't added our ribbon yet. Whew. Um, it's, it's instead of seven fifty, it's three dollars. Um, this soft succulent ribbon, I'm going to show in a future project. Same thing, it is on sale. And then evening evergreen is a retiring color, so you're going to want to look for that. Um, Multi-purpose liquid glue, one of my favorites, is on low inventory. So those, um, let's get back to our um, other window here. So those um, tools that um, list that is the supply list are. Um, not going to uh, get, okay. Oh, Roxanne answered a question um, or asked a question and Elaine answered about the new in colors. Yes. So that's the other thing that I wanted to point out about the online store. Um, sometimes there seems to be a little glitch um, where the new or the, um, we'll go back to the online store, uh, where the uh, search bar doesn't work. So um, if you're looking for a product and you think that it might be sold out, but you're not sure, um, I kind of recommend, you can try looking for it in the search bar, but I recommend also looking um, through the retiring, um, just the retiring list to see if you can find it that way. Because sometimes the search bar is doing weird things. The other thing that's happening weird is that sometimes um, when you look at all products, you'll see a bunch of them and they'll have like a blue bar up here at the top instead of new. Um, and it says uh, pre-order and the pre-orders are available to you if you uh, are signing up to be a demonstrator. So you can get those as part of a demonstrator starter kit. And I, of course, would love to help you with that. Um, you can click on my website, lovenstamps.com for information about um, the uh, information about getting a demonstrator starter kit and getting those items. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until May for those to come out um, with a catalog. So, all right, you guys ready to finish, finish up some more of our project here? Let's switch back. Um, there we go. So we need to go ahead and add our uh, ribbon to this. And I'm gonna show you how I add my ribbon so that it's just really sturdy. Um, so you're gonna need about 25 inches of ribbon. This is the window pane ribbon. Um, I actually flipped through my retiring ribbons and there are lots of good choices. The soft succulent satin half inch, um, the uh, open weave ribbon in soft succulent or evening evergreen would be a great choice. Um, but I brought this one in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it about in half. So I've got it pinched here. I'm gonna move my notebook cover out of the way and I'm gonna pop um, some, I'm gonna forward that a second. I'm gonna pop some, uh, there we go. I'm gonna pop some Seal Plus on here. There we go. Sometimes the paper will rip um, when you're using Seal Plus. If that happens, don't push so hard, okay? Be gentle with your Seal Plus. Uh, we're gonna pop this across here. I'm gonna press it into those elements. And then I need to adhere my cover piece to our notebook here. And I'm going to use multi-purpose liquid glue for that because I just love the way it gets good contact and it is never coming off. It will not come, it's just really strong glue. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. I've trapped my ribbon just on the front and I'm gonna put this in here. Now, um, you really wanna do this between the cardstock layers because this is gonna be, um, you don't want this to be just under the designer paper because this could rip. Uh, you want it to be under the cardstock layer so that you have a nice strong um, point here of contact, okay? And then this is gonna fold across here and tie to finish off our cute projects. All right, there you go. Um, Let's see, oh, Elaine says you can join as a demo under me. Thanks, Elaine, that was sweet. <laughs> 
Um, the ribbon then is going to tie at the corner and then you have your perfect notebook. So like I said, the, um, cello bags, uh, are six by eight and they fit these notebooks beautifully. So that makes a great way to gift this, um, item to someone. Okay. You make your bow face the right direction. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, but that would be a really fun, um, gift presentation. All right. So you want to see the other ones. I showed you the seashells. Um, and this designer series paper or this, um, embossing folder is like, instead of $9, it's like $3 and 60 cents or something. So you would want to type seashell in the search box at the top and you would get the folder and the paper and dies. And then here is one more. This is retired paper too, but, um, a current, um, this is the hand penned dies. And even if you don't get the hand penned stamp set, I do love, um, these dies here for putting things together. So this is some retired ribbon from my stash, but just, um, you can see really easy to customize this kind of notebook project and, uh, really kind of make the most of it for all the, all the fun things, but these colors and so forth from our, um, texture chic designer series paper. You're going to see these again from me. Um, so check that list for the supplies and anything that's retiring. Um, and certainly on low inventory, don't wait to get that because if you want to make these projects at home, you're going to, you're going to miss out if you don't order them soon. So woohoo, cute little trinket flowers, right? All right. Um, speaking of which, there are a, a number of things that are already sold out from the store. So if you're looking for one of those, I, um, sad, um, but hopefully we'll have something new coming that will replace what you want, or um, you can find something similar to put in place. So, all right, flip you guys back here. So uh, lots, of, lots of information today about how to find things and the retiring list um, and the really fun season of chic uh, stamp set. If you are um, one of my stampers who ordered last month, uh, March, Love and Stamps card kits to go, think about what the words are, um, are getting ready to go in the mail today. So you'll have that pretty soon. And more good news, um, if you are one of my stampers and you've ordered at least $50 for me um, anytime in the last six months, then you will be getting a copy of the new catalog for me. And those are due to come pretty soon. So um, that catalog won't begin until May, um, but you'll have it in your hands a little early with some fun sneak peeks too. So all right, everybody, have a wonderful Thursday. Um, happy pre-Friday. I wish you the best with your Easter weekend. Um, have a beautiful weekend. I hope the weather is decent where you are and you have a chance to um, get together and appreciate some time with family and so forth, friends, um, people who are special to you. So speaking of people who are special to me, my dog would really like to go outside. She's been waiting patiently. So um, I'm going to go let Pepper out. Um, and you're welcome for the reminder on this project, Margie. Yeah, maybe make some notebooks this weekend. You have a couple days. If you're going to see people on Sunday, you could make some special notebooks um, to share with people. I really liked um, the seashell greeting here. The friends are like seashells, collect them along the way. Um, there's some beautiful greetings in that stamp set too. So, All right, guys. Happy pre-Friday, and I will see you next Tuesday for another Maker Mornings with Meg. So take care, everybody.